Oh, fish on. Come on, come on, take it, take it. There you go. I was like, I don't see you plugging that. Hey everyone, Matt, or at Night Shift Fishing here. We're approaching mid-August, and it's kind of the lull in the summer season around the canal. And just wanted to take this opportunity to talk about a couple things when it comes to the equipment that we use out there on the canal for catching those striped bass. We're going to talk about two things today. The first is a regular change out of the hardware, hooks and split rings, on our lures, specifically our swimmers and our top water poppers. Uh, as you use those, even if you do wash them off when you're done each time, which you really should, uh, the hooks and the split rings will rust, so it's important that we go ahead and change those out so we have um, strong quality equipment there. And also it helps if we were to inadvertently hook ourselves that we have a clean hook and not a rusty hook. Uh, the other thing we're going to talk about is as the season goes on, you might be tempted to try a different lure or something that you've seen someone else have success with. And oftentimes when you purchase a lure, the temptation can be to take it out of the box or out of the bag, put it on the line right away, throw it out there and go and try and fish. A lot of times this results in dropped fish. And the reason for that is sometimes when you buy a lure, and I say sometimes, really it's most of the time, when you buy a lure, it does not come with high quality hardware, both hooks and split rings. As an example, when I buy a brand new lure from Aurelio at Left Eye Lures, I know that he is putting the best high quality split rings and hooks on that lure. I know that I can take it out of the bag, I can throw it, and I can land a 30 pound fish without a problem. But that's not always the case, and especially when you talk about those larger manufacturers. So as an example, I recently picked up this Hydro Twitch Bait by Yoziri. And looking at it, I can see that the hooks are not the highest quality. So before I throw this, before it even goes in my uh, basket on my bike and in my lure bag, I'm going to go ahead and change that hardware out right away because I don't want to throw this out there, put it into a rip and be working it, have a huge bass hit it, and then drop it and bring it in with bent hooks. That's not what I want to have happen. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to start. And like I said, the other thing that I'm going to show you today is changing out hardware, which is natural as the season goes on. So as an example, this is a yellow three and a half ounce outcast pencil. It's been doing a lot of good work for me this year. If you've seen my videos and you'll see some more coming out soon. But as you can see, that tail hook is starting to get a little rusty. So I want to go ahead and change that out. Make sure I have a high quality hook, something that's going to be uh, clean and something that's going to be strong before we get into the second half of the season here and certainly before the fall run. This lull in August is the perfect time to take care of our equipment and make sure we're prepared because when those big fish roll through in the fall, we want to make sure we're ready for them. So let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at changing out the hardware on our existing lures. So we'll start with a couple of outcast pencils. This is a three and a half ounce yellow over white and it's been putting in some serious work for me this season. You can see even though I've been washing it off, those hooks are awfully rusty. And then this white one, this thing's getting the nickname of Big Dog here. You can see that it's been working hard. It's been catching a lot of fish, which has been awesome. I really enjoy this lure. Um, it's definitely earned some battle scars there, catching some quality fish. And so it too is starting to show rust on those hooks. So I want to get those changed out while we're during this lull in the season before we're going to get into any more big fish and we have any issues. So let's go ahead and change out the hooks on one of these lures. We're going to go ahead and start with this yellow outcast and I am absolutely, absolutely paranoid about getting a hook in the hand if I don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and use these little fancy hook covers I picked up at the Goose Hummock shop a while back, cover those hooks and then some split ring pliers that I got not all that long ago at Red Top. And these things are awesome for doing this. It's the um, Texas Tackle patented. They're... Um, S split ring pliers and these things are really handy and you can go ahead and see that there's rust building up on that split ring so I'm going to go ahead and change that out too I would hate to have a split ring fail and lose a fish bring a lure in and be missing a split ring and a treble and have a fish swimming away out there with just a treble in its mouth that certainly would not be any fun and then we'll go ahead and take this one off here this can be a little tricky when you have these swivels in the middle of the lure that can be tough to uh, manage 
it just takes a special little touch but again these ooh, there we go these texas pliers do a great job of grabbing that split ring and pulling it off so at this point we have our lure hardware is off the next step i'm going to go ahead and take is i'm going to clean that lure off so let me just grab a rolling away there all right our next step here is going to be putting new split rings on so i like to use spro size six 150 pound test split rings when i go ahead and do this you're going to use your split ring pliers to open that split ring up put it on the loop and work it around now to get on there now i will tell you that this is a little bit more challenging when this is a swivel that hangs down you really have to have the touch it's going to take me a couple of tries so don't make fun of me at home if you're watching and laughing i'll know some people are really good at this i'm not one of those people it takes me a couple of tries but you know in time you get better with more practice so i'll keep working on it so now we have the split rings on we'll bring in the hooks again i put those new hooks in the hook covers so that there's no way i'm going to get a hook in the hand and i like to use the vmc 4x 3.0 hooks on a lot of my poppers here especially in this size sometimes when i go up to a larger size like that white outcast you saw a little while ago i'll go up with a 4.0 hook on that one um, but usually i like the 3.0 hook for the canal it all depends on your preference and your application but that's what i find works for me you might find something works well for you that's a little different all right and so with that we have our lure here we have the hooks on we'll take those covers off take a look at it nice shiny new hardware we're going to go ahead and put this in our plug bag and it's like a brand new plug we're all ready to go the one other thing that i recommend you do is use a hook sharpener and just run that over your barbs um, or each piece of the hook a lot of people will crush the barbs i personally don't but i will sharpen each one of the pieces of the treble hook just to make sure it's sharp if i do hook into a fish i want to make sure i land that fish so that's the last step i won't be showing that in this video but a, another recommendation so now we have our yellow over white outcast and we're ready to go do some damage okay let's take a look at changing the hardware on a new lure now this might seem counterintuitive and you can certainly use just about any lure you buy straight out of the package with the hardware that's included but if you're targeting large fish you want to go ahead and upgrade that right away so again yoziri hydro twitch bait let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh change out that hardware shall we never been great at opening things that's why i don't do unboxing videos <laughs> okay now that we got it out of there let's get it out of the packaging all the way and again like i've mentioned before i am always cautious to make sure i don't get a hook in the hand so it's a really nice lure this hydro twitch bait 150s um, looks awfully nice and we're just going to go ahead and remove this hardware and upgrade it I don't know what the specs are on the hooks that they use or the split rings that they use, but I certainly don't want to find out that it's not great when I'm going to try and land a big fish. So let's go ahead and uh, first things first, we'll go ahead and put those hook covers on. And you can feel it just when I feel that hook, I can feel that there is some weight to it. These aren't overly chintzy hooks, but they're not the highest quality. Um, they're certainly not what I want to be fishing with in the canal where you could go from um, a micro schoolie bass to a 40 50 pound bass in a matter of seconds and that's not something that we want to encounter when we have chintzy hardware on so we're going to go ahead and change this out so and we're going to do this one you can see that this lure as opposed to that outcast pencil it just has a loop on the bottom that's going to make it much easier to change out the hardware as opposed to the swivel on the bottom which just takes some practice it's just a different approach all right, so we have everything we need right here. We have the lure, we have two split rings, we have two VMC 3.0 hooks, they're 4X, and then we have our Texas Tackle split ring pliers. So let's go ahead and start by putting on one of the split rings. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. Oftentimes when there's a swivel in the middle, I'll do the tail first because I get it done easier, whereas in the belly, it can take a little longer with that swivel. 
with this with the two loops it really doesn't matter they should both be about the same Oops. and that's what can happen when you're not careful you want to make sure that you open that split ring and get it actually on the loop and the lure before you start working it around otherwise it'll roll away on you again you know as long as you've been doing this we're all learning new techniques we're all making mistakes and learn from it but we'll get there together we'll go ahead and put the tail hook on first and then we'll go ahead and change it up put on that middle hook work that all the way on there and again we have a nice brand new lure and now we have a nice lure with hardware that we have confidence in we know that we can go ahead and throw this in the rips at the canal and we're gonna be confident that those split rings and those hooks are gonna hold so let's go ahead and uh, go do some fishing look forward to seeing you out there on the rocks and uh, make sure you take this opportunity in the season to go ahead and upgrade your tackle